it's not just capturing the anatomy and making sure that we get a good pre-op scan, but it's also using our scanner in such a way that it will actually ensure that we're getting the best possible, most accurate digital model out of that. And we've actually spent a lot of time researching these things as to how to best scan these cases. And when we look at this, basically what we've found is the most reliable thing for the vast majority of scanners is the following. We usually start off going all the way through the lingual of the entire arch and really setting the arch that way. Then we come back from an occlusal perspective and then the third pass is going from a facial perspective. And then we're going to fill in any little voids, any little gaps, any spots that we've missed in those initial passes through that time. Once that gets set, then we're going to go ahead and fill in the palate and fill in the soft tissue. And this can be best done either this way where we're going back and forth, or you can go straight down the mid palatine suture and then roll up from either side to fill in the rest of the stuff. But what this allows us to do is it allows us to get the most accurate possible scan because this is the basis of every single thing that we do moving forward.